is a framework that supports the soft tissue of vertebrate animals and protects many of their internal organs. There are more than 200 bones in our body. They make up our body skeleton. When a baby is born, he or she has about 350 bones. The smaller bones join together as they are growing up. Our bones are made up of different size and shape. Long, short, round, and flat. Each bone has its own special name. Skull bone called the cranium, jaw bone called the mandible, shoulder blade called the scapula, ribs, 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 arm bone called the radius and ulna, back bone called the spine, thigh bone called the pelvis, Bone called the pelvis, leg bone called the tibia and fibula. Of all these bones, our biggest, longest, and strongest bone is the bone at the top of our leg called the femur, which is the thigh bone. What is the function of the skeleton? The skeleton is very useful. It, it, it helps us and give it hold our body up and give us our shape. It is very strong, therefore protect our body from being bashed or not. It protects our delicate brain, ribs, lungs, and heart. It also helps us to move. It is responsible for our growth. As our bone grow, we grow taller. Thank you. So does our knees. It is the joints that let the bone on this side move. There are and torn, twist, and bend. Imagine if you don't have elbow joints, then you will have to hold your arm up. Therefore, a special lipid keep your joints slippery and well oiled. Therefore, they didn't touch or rub together. Some of our joints, like elbows and knees, work like drawings. Other like keep our bones and socket. Therefore, letting our legs round and free. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Good morning, parents, teachers, and my fellow students. My name is Mustafa Amin. I want to talk about the hand and feet. The hand and feet. The hand and feet are amazing. You can do many things with them, like writing a letter, play the piano, and even do your own. You can also work, job, kick a football, and stand on your tiptoes. Your arms, your arms are big, strong muscles and bones. Which have, which have to lead to which in carrying this? Your hand and blood are small bones and small Let's see our fingers to do delicate movement like dripping and picking up feet. Your, uh, your legs and feet are your, your legs and feet are built in a similar way to your arms are they are very long and strong. Put the weight of your body. When you start, walk our own. Thank you. And my fellow, my name is Umari. I am going to talk about the head and tail. It's called it the hollow bone case, sitting on the top of your head. It's made up to protect your delicate face. The body is discovered that you are not as much therefore, helping the baby to sit out of the mother's bed. But, but as the baby gets older, the bone usually turns to hard and strong. A long, a long bone round down your back. It's called the spinal or back bone. Thank you. Clap for him, please. Put your hands together for him, please. Yes. Now. So now we know how our body works and what makes thank it you, work you. effectively. What makes it work effectively is the skeleton, which they have described from the skull to the ribs to the hands to the legs and all the names are 